Boris Johnson has delivered time and again for the British people and the people of Dover and Deal. So he has my support. I have absolute confidence in him today, and I'm sure he's going to win this confidence vote. So we can move forward and continue delivering for the British people. Not everyone in your party seems to agree, and this is not exactly an opportune moment for the Conservatives but to be having a civil war. What is behind this? It's been parliamentary recess. There hasn't been much opportunity for plotting in the back corridors. Is this about letters from constituents? Well, I've been out and about in my constituency of Dover and Deal, and the only parties that people were talking about over the weekend were the Platinum Jubilee parties. Immediately after the Sue Gray report, we hit the doorsteps, and over 200 households were asked, and of those, only one, a Conservative voter, mentioned the issue of Partygate. That voter said that they were disappointed in the Prime Minister, but they remained Conservative, and they were more concerned about the state of the roads. So in Dover and Deal, I'm very clearly focused on what matters to the people in my constituency, and the Prime Minister is absolutely the person who is delivering for us. You're clearly backing your Prime Minister, uh, but why do you think it's got to this point? Why do you think an 80-seat majority, a historic election victory, a spectacular result, really, in December 2019, has been reversed? It's such a political turnaround in such a short period of time, even though most people, or a lot of people, think... He got most stuff in terms of the pandemic and the war in Ukraine roughly right. What's gone so badly wrong, Natalie Elphick? Well, Boris Johnson has got not just the big decisions right, he's absolutely shown that strong leadership at a time of extraordinary challenge for the country. And that challenge continues with the war on Ukraine and the cost of living crisis. And again, he's shown extraordinary leadership on that. That's why I think it's absolutely right to call this vote quickly, to make sure that we can reinforce that the party needs to now get behind him, make sure that that 80 majority continues to deliver for the British people. And that's what I'm expecting to happen.